The Democratic House is ramping up investigations into the Trump administration. Acting Attorney General Matt Whitaker will face questions today about the Russia investigation as negotiators appear to be nearing a deal to avoid another shutdown before next Friday's deadline. Our senior congressional correspondent Mary Bruce is on Capitol Hill with the latest. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, George. Well, after a heated standoff here, the acting attorney general will testify this morning before the House Judiciary Committee. But for a while yesterday, it was unclear whether this hearing was even going to happen. Democrats are eager to press Whitaker on his communications with the president and the special counsel, especially why Whitaker refused to recuse himself from overseeing this investigation, even though top ethics officials at the Justice Department said he should. And whether Whitaker's past statements about this investigation have interfered at all with his supervision of it. And George, if he isn't forthcoming, if there are questions that Whitaker feels he cannot answer, the Democratic chairman, Gerald Nadler, doesn't seem to be ruling out the possibility of a future subpoena. And Mary, the Democrats seem really loaded for bear this morning, just a few moments ago, unleashing new information about Whitaker. Yeah, there are questions now. Democrats saying saying that he was involved uh, in this alleged uh, alleged scheme and that he didn't uh, wasn't prepared to pay back payments, uh, fraud payments to victims from this company that was alleged uh, to be involved in this scheme, George. And meantime, we are seeing new progress in those border negotiations. Yeah, negotiators I've talked with, George, are optimistic here that they can reach a deal in the coming days, and both sides do appear to be giving here. Democrats seem willing to provide more funding for fencing along the border, while Republicans are conceding that they are not going to get that full $5.7 billion that the president has been demanding to build his border wall. But the question remains whether the president can get on board, and of course he hasn't ruled out the possibility of still declaring a national emergency. Okay, Mary Bruce, thanks very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.